I absolutely love diving into a brand new book every month or so and starting to read regularly has been a game changer for me. Reading has really shaped me as a person, helping me leave my corporate job as an executive and venture into entrepreneurship, especially since it has opened up my mind to different perspectives and ways of thinking. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of my favorite cybersecurity books that I think everyone, especially if you're doing bug bounties and web hacking, should definitely read, starting with our first one, The Web Application Hackers Handbook. This book is a bit outdated and it is probably one of the bigger books in our entire collection of books right here but honestly looking at this book it is one of the game-changing books for everybody that wants to get into web hacking not only because they show you the basics of web hacking and everything that it is about some of the older techniques and the foundation of web hacking but also it has a few chapters in here that i feel like a lot of the other books skip and some of these could be things like client side attacks and overall everything that you need to know before jumping into web hacking so that was just kind of showing you the basics of web application hacking it is again outdated but i genuinely think you need to just go to the basics and and kind of also get perspective on how web app hacking used to be and then move on to the more modern applications and attacks by reading the second book called the bug bounty Bootcamp: the guide to finding and reporting web vulnerabilities by vicky lee which vicky is an amazing resource she is an amazing author especially when it comes down to writing technical content and this book is no different so with this book what you can expect is learning some of the basics from how to pick a bug bounty program how to look for targets using reconnaissance and then later it's going to dive into looking at vulnerability types like open redirects click jacking cross site scripting insecure object reference like idor sql injection and more honestly this is more relevant to today's world of web app hacking not that the other book that i mentioned earlier isn't relevant but this is more modern given that the technology with web apps changes day to day so honestly reading these two books back to back is a great start to web app hacking even if you're not trying to get into bug bounty the third book which is also still on brand with all the web hacking that we have talked about so far is the real world bug hunting a field guide to web hacking is by peter jaworski amazing person that i've also have the chance to be a friend and call him a friend and actually hang out with this book is also similar to our previous one this book came out right after the web application hackers handbook and then in 2022 is when vicky came out with her book but the reason why this book is still very valuable is not only it talks about the different vulnerability types it explains what these vulnerabilities are and kind of walks you through them with examples but those examples are the most crucial part of this book because it gives you examples of the disclosed report on hacker one and it analyzes them gives you an overview of the vulnerability gives you a summary and also follows up with a takeaway so having an example and seeing the perspective of another hacker and also getting peter's documentary on how to look for these vulnerabilities is what makes this book very very valuable and i think honestly i've gifted this one and vicky's book this blue one right here to a number of different people and i think some of the bug bounty hunters who are new should definitely read this and honestly with this book being your third in the series, it's going to be what's going to give you perspective into a lot of the other hackers and how their approaches are. Now, let's talk about the back end and how to approach hacking APIs using Corey's book, Hacking APIs, Breaking Web Applications, Programming Interface by Corey J. Ball. I've also had the pleasure to meet Corey right before he was actually coming out with this book at a conference where I got to kind of understand how he wrote this book. And honestly, if you're looking at today's modern applications, a lot of them actually rely on APIs. And what you see with web applications nowadays is that you see the user interface and you may see actually some of the API calls, but there are also different approaches to finding and discovering API endpoints, which he talks about in his book right here. First, starting with talking about how to actually look for vulnerabilities Abilities, what are the common vulnerabilities in APIs? He talks about reconnaissance and looking for different assets and then looking for API calls on those assets. And then eventually what he does is he actually uses labs like juice shop and uses juice shop to actually give you a hands-on experience and then later at the end of the book where you would see is he will actually give you some actual examples of vulnerabilities that were disclosed on hacker one i know sam curry some of his findings were included in here but honestly this is a great book to be able to apply some of the stuff that you have learned in these previous books when it comes down to looking at api specifically but not only are you going to apply these web application hacking 
techniques to, in this book, but it also talks about API specific vulnerabilities that you're not gonna see just by looking at the interface and it kind of requires you to understand how API works. The other thing that is great about this book, he also talks about Postman and documentation, how to actually look at those as well in here, from what I remember, and it's honestly a really good first step into learning how to approach APIs, and it's a no-brainer for anybody that wants to get into hacking because APIs rule web apps right now. So this is an amazing resource, highly recommend this one as well. But we can't talk about APIs without mentioning GraphQL, which is also another book on this series, which is called Black Hat GraphQL. This one is talking about attacking next generation of APIs by Nick Alex and Dolev Farhi. I hope I said your name right. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. But also you can see that Corey right here, the author of our previous book, has also been quoted in this right here, which is also another book that we're going to talk about. Now, let's talk about Black Hat GraphQL. This book not only shows you the Black Hat approach to uh, hacking on GraphQL instances, but also it takes you way back to actually understanding how is a GraphQL query written and everything you need to know as a primer on GraphQL before diving into hacking it as well. But it also shows you the different tools that you need, how to set them up, how to set up your own environment and lab before you dive into hacking. And there's also, I think, GraphQL Goat or Goat GraphQL, one of those, I'll link it down below. They also use a very cool lab instance in here to show you how to look for information and they cover all the possible different vulnerabilities in a GraphQL instance. This is unfortunately a book that I have not gotten the chance to finish yet. It is a very heavy book because I personally really suck at GraphQL myself, but having this as a resource has been a really good place for me to get started. I think I've gone through the first chapters of this book, but honestly, looking at this book, especially if you want to get good at web hacking, especially with bug bounty hunting, GraphQLs and APIs are something that are never going to go away. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get both of these books right here and kind of read them both and understand how to approach both instances but also the cool thing with this book is with this one actually is that they also talk about the difference or they put graphql and restful apis next to each other and they talk about what the difference is and how they are similar but also different when it comes down to hacking so far we have talked about the hacking and mostly web app and pen testing books but now it is actually time for us to kind of switch the gears into different topics starting with Black Hat Python, which we just talked about Black Hat GraphQL. This is Black Hat Python, a Python programming book for hackers and pen testers. And this is not so much to teach you how to write code in Python, but it's everything you need to know in order to abuse Python for whatever your goal may be. This could be maybe creating some extensions for Burb Suite, maybe doing some network analysis, but also it goes as far as showing you how to use Python to even do Prevesk in different environments like Windows or Linux that you're on. So it is a really good place for anybody that wants to get into hacking. So maybe you don't want to do web hacking, but you want to learn what is a different approach to use Python as a hacker. This is an amazing book. This book came out about 10 years ago, but I think a lot of the techniques or at least the content that is in this book is still valid and useful you may have to learn how to do them or update them with the newer versions of python but again a lot of the concept in this book are really really valid and very interesting so if you're looking to learn a programming language but not only use it as a developer but learn how to use it as a hacker this would be the best book to go to so this is really really highly recommended also charlie miller is the person that wrote the foreword for it and i highly recommend this book as well now let's talk about the hacker playbook by peter kim this book is not so much focused on web app hacking. It is a complete guide to getting into hacking. So it just not only talks about how to deploy a specific attack, but it also tells you how to use the tools that are going to facilitate it or also how to weaponize it. So for example, if you've never done any hacking, it's gonna teach you how to set up your Kali Linux. It's gonna talk about how to look for credentials, for example, and then it's gonna get into different attacks. So for example, if you're into cross-site scripting, not only it's going to show you how to look for cross-site scripting, scripting, but it also is going to show you how to create Beef, the framework for cross-site scripting, and also it tells you how to weaponize it. But then later it talks about moving lateral on a network, and honestly, this book is just a mountain of knowledge, and it is on brand with knowing Peter Kim himself. He's a mountain of knowledge himself, and just reading this book is amazing. This is actually the first edition, so this is the first version of this book. There's two other ones. You can get the second and third. I've not read the second and third. This was one of the books that I actually started reading when I got into hacking but just reading this book itself was amazing and i know the third version of this book 
just came out uh, four or five years ago, so it is fairly updated. So I highly recommend starting with the first one, maybe kind of getting the gist of everything and then moving off to the second and third edition of this book. So these are all of the books that I highly recommend reading. There are all the technical books in cybersecurity that I've enjoyed, but I don't know if this is something you guys enjoy watching. So if you do, do me a favor, drop me a comment. Let me know, do you want me to talk about more books? Maybe there are more non-technical books in cybersecurity or even just personal growth books that I've enjoyed reading. So just drop me a comment with the, maybe with the word book. And if I get enough comments, I'll make more of these series. Or maybe we make this a regular thing where every couple of months I talk about some of my favorite books that I've read recently. All right, that's it. If you haven't already, do me a favor. Do all that liking, subscribing, and commenting. And I will see you all next week. Peace.